Ahoy, folks, and welcome to more post commentary. Woo! And I have no idea which island I went with. <laughs> I think I was. And also, at... I'm still here. Yes. <laughs> Say hello to Bio again. <laughs> <clears throat> I was half expecting you to go woo when I said more post commentary. Woo! There you go. <laughs> uh, I must spend a lot of time deliberating on which Vec I want to deal with. I think I well, do. Apparently, have. Archive is already out. <laughs> Spiders. Yeah, no, I did go with Pinnacle. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, why Pinnacle? <laughs> Uh, we do have a reactor core to aim for, though, and we don't have a choice. We have to do that mission. Yeah, they can put it to good use. Oh, wait, no, you can't. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, why? It's the centipede, too. Oh, dear. And none of them, there's like one that's attacking buildings, the rest are a lot more dangerous than they should be. I must have... That's a weird one. Yeah, I, I guess it moved the leaper out of the way, but it doesn't take care of the... You know, yeah, at this point, buildings. you may as well shove the leaper into A6. Yeah, probably should. I think I was also considering moving the... No, it looks like I just kill him outright. Maybe. No, I did go with that. Yeah. There we go. That's that takes care of two of the buildings. One with the firefly there, and I think. How do I do that? I guess I blocked the spawn with the rock instead of the centipede there. Probably would have kept the buildings on E and F on in ice a bit longer, because those are going to be big targets for the deck. Speaking of. Yeah. Even the farm knows what's up. <laughs> I seem to recall that the uh, writer, Chris Avalon, made a note... It actually kind of liked making those uh, alien languages for the FTL pilots. I mean, yeah, I guess, but... It does make it hard to know what they're talking about. The only one that you can get even the slightest hint of what they mean out of is the farm. The rest is just like scratchy noises. Yeah. Because Vak is just... a lot of K's and Ariadne isn't much better. It's a bunch of groaning. Yeah. Well, we've already made the uh, the two objectives to break five buildings out of the ice and block spec spawns. That's actually a good combo. Oh, yeah. That's you actually... were meant to block spawns. <laughs> I, can't, I can't remember that for the life of me. <laughs> Yeah, this is actually a good combination, though, because you can focus on blocking spawns while you also let the enemy Vec just sort of go to town, breaking buildings out of ice. Unless they keep going for the same building. That, too. I guess that's one advantage of having three boulder mechs, is that you can just sort of use rocks to do that, too, and not your mechs directly. For example, I hope I move the orange mech out of the way before he ends up getting uh, his rear Tailed. end chopped. You can't get a replacement pilot for him, can you? Not really. You, you, you do. I do know that the AI pilots don't. If you have an AI pilot instead, it doesn't uh, ruin your achievements with uh, not changing out mechs or pilots. Sorry, but it's not preferred. <laughs> you do get rid of the few bonuses you can get. I think I more or less went grid, the huh? same route there, just with a different uh, order. Yeah, I think that reset was just do the same thing over, but with a different uh, order. Oh, but I got the uh, order of back attack wrong. Yeah, I could have blocked the shot with Mufan, I think. Or with a rock. But hey, Probably I double, both. I blocked six out of the three Vex spawns I needed to, so... <laughs> Yay! <laughs> ah, now everything's armored. 
Well, it's the final turn, so as long as you can shove them out of the way, it's fine too. That is very true. I will say, though, I out of the four CEOs, I do not like Pinnacle. I don't, or I don't like Zenith. She seems to be a lot more uh, worried about her own kind than, you know, actual <clears throat> lives. Uh, I, just, I don't know. I, I have a bone to pick with Kern. <laughs> I, Kern, I kind of, I, I kind of like Kern because, I mean, she does still, she's a jerk of with a heart of gold, so to speak. Oh come on! She starts yelling at you for <laughs> her crops getting destroyed because, but what was it again? Because you didn't fail, because you failed blocking enough vex. But hey, next episode, let's terraform our fertile land into desert. Yes, that's a good <laughs> idea. Ugh. Yeah, that is that is true. Yeah, you got a point, but yeah, it's still better than Dewey. Dewey really only cares about the uh, artifacts. His toys. Exactly. Also, am I the only one who constantly thinks about the little kid from Malcolm in the Middle when I hear the name Dewey? I'm not familiar with uh, Malcolm in the Middle all that much, to be honest. Yeah, there was a kid named Dewey, and then every time I hear the name. Looks like I just have Mafon tank the uh, the hit from the score uh, the centipede there. Tell me if you don't take that shot though. No, I reset instead. Again, order of operations. This is part of the reason why I'm grateful that I finally got that uh, annotation tool of mine made and processing. So it's not going to be as big of an is issue making misplays like that now. Hopefully. He says, fully know well, knowing full well he's still going to make the same mistakes. <laughs> yep. The best part is you reset a turn and end up with something even worse than before. Uh, okay. So, people that are watching this probably don't know. There was a run that did not end up getting put up on YouTube at all because it was that bad. Dude, I ended up with a run that disabled all of my mechs. I have never had that happen before. Uh, Episode 100, mechs disabled. Oh, dear. Yeah. In my case, I ended up doing one play, screwed up the time, uh, timing, redid it, but ended up having Mafon do an elite mech, ending his turn on a spawn. <laughs> I, it, 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 why would why did I do that? Why? It's like ugh. there's 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 bad plays, and then there's that's the only time I purposefully abandoned timeline. And well, I got under my mech hit with a train. <laughs> oh, there's... Kills the mech, kills the objective. <laughs> oh, there, there's a. Uh, there's a couple of posts on the Into the Breach subreddit where where it ends up mentioning on this, you know how on the stat screens it says, you know, most squishable, most deadly, uh, those yeah. out of the different mechs, most deadly, terrain, <laughs> 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 just with one, with one kill, it's like, oh dear. <laughs> MVP of the terrain. Exactly. Now about this mission, uh, yeah, this was not a fun mission to have no choice and you have to do this one, sorry. Mm hmm. Well, I mean, the robot factories can basically go and bugger off. You're not getting the perfect island anyway. True, but I would like to keep at least some of them alive for the sheer if only for the uh, reputation. Yeah, but like the guy on E4, who cares? Yeah, he might just... I'm trying to remember what I do here. I might just ignore... 
I actually have no idea what I do here. You can tell that I've slowed down a ton because I don't have that reset as a backup if I screw up. Yeah, I get that as well. That armor vec really actually hinders things. You know what you know now. Hit C4 twice, make sure you shove the scorp... Or whatever, what is it? Name the centipede Cent once yeah. and... If you can take out that Scion, even better. Let, let F3 and E4 take out both robot factories. If anything, that'll make the later parts of this mission a little bit easier since we won't have the evil robot suicide bombers or what have yep. you. I remember Styles remarking uh, on one of my earlier episodes, because I have the colorblind mode enabled. Not because I am colorblind, but because it makes people it easier, watching. I guess, for people that are colorblind. But you have that little double chevron next to Alpha, and that actually helps a lot when you're dealing with the uh, the Alpha robots versus the non-Alpha robots. Because there's no way to tell the difference between the two other than color. Nah, they all have one HP anyway. Yeah, man, how much damage they do. Squishy. There we go, I did something finally. I think this is the point where I... Oh, looks like I tank a little bit of re... No? Okay. There we go. So it looks like I do write off H4. Yeah. Man, Mifan is depressed. Or happy. Could have been his arms. He raised up. <laughs> Yay! Death to the NG-08. <laughs> I thought they were the allies. <laughs> uh... That centipede, though. Alpha centipedes suck. Hmm. It, it could they're be usually, worse, but... They're usually pretty handy to do some self-damage with, and the asset that they leave around can be put to good use on occasion as well. That is true. It's a bit of a double-edged sword. And for some reason, they never follow logic. I've seen them go for their own allies as well. I'm like, what the heck are you doing? It's, it's weird because all of the attacks are... Uh, all of the attacks in the game are more or less deterministic. It's There is some randomness involved, but the Vec try to pick whichever attack is the most... The, the, basically the biggest screw you to the player that they can. But what's interesting is that yes. with with the centipedes, as well as some of the other Vec that do attacks on multiple targets, is that they don't take... Those ones in particular don't take into consideration uh, enemy Vec, their followers. own kind. They just don't. I've seen some weird behavior from Blobbers, too. Blobbers, yeah. Blobbers. I mean, even the... Even the uh, uh, the mech, the mech bot on B5, his attack's a little bit weird too. He, it would be the same problem where he's going to be attacking a building and a vec at the same time with out really second, without a second thought. The bot on B5 is not attacking a vec though. Or a mech, it, 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 that type of attack where it's attacking multiple targets. I should say. It's a pretty solid attack to me. Uh, true, but in general. I didn't mean that specific one. I should have been more clear. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I got what you mean. But like, I've seen blobbers where they could easily lob a shot where it would hit two things and then not go for it. Yeah. Let me let me see if I can find... Uh, what's going to be the name of that Lua file? In the meantime, she'll think about what to do here. Indeed. Looks like I'm... I just like moving that centipede to C2 for some reason, I guess. And that... he likes moving straight on back. <laughs> and, and, and again, that's part of that thing where it's like there's a... There's a level to what exactly... There's like a... A heuristic to how these things are... 
put in. Ah, where, what is the name of that file? I'm gonna have to look a little bit deeper for that. Is it the one that tells you what they do and what they avoid, like avoids fire, avoids mine. Exactly. I, because I remember looking at that when. Uh... Ah, let's see. Because I remember no, this mentioning place. that to Ani Stuffs in one of his uh, streams, and he was like, "Huh?" Because it's. And then he yelled at you for spoiling something, didn't he? No, he yelled at uh, Styles. <laughs> I mean, rightfully so, and potentially, but still, it's like, eh. So that's one advantage of Mathon moving to B7, is that he can just tank the attack, which is something I considered doing. I must have done something mm. different. A rock on B3 would solve C3 and B2. Yeah, that is true as well. That might have been what I was considering. So I freeze. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Because that ends up flash freezing a lot of the uh, enemies there. I must not have that file open in Notepad. I'll have to take a look uh, mm -hmm. afterwards and see. That's Centipede on B4. Gah. <laughs> I mean, he's the only threat, really, and it's like there's... Because he has three health, I can't get rid of him without moving him over, mm. and that's one of the main problems. H5. Yeah. I was looking at that as well. Put some on acid, Miesnut, or one of your mechs can take him out. Yeah, that... That's one saving grace for the, uh... Centipede is that he kind of spells his own doom in, that, in this particular situation. And yet you decide not to go for him. I think I, since he wasn't. Ah, the block effects spawning. Yeah. Oh, I. Even again, we're watching me play through this, and I we can't even remember. It's that one, and I think just kill X amount of enemies that I always forget about. Yeah, it's always kill seven. Which they just I... don't have a marker on your maps like, hey, defend the train. Okay, there's a train, I know I have to defend it. Or there's a terraformer, defend it. I get it. Lock spawns, nope. <laughs> I mean, it, it doesn't help that by the time that your pilots mention, hey, we need to be doing this, it's usually too late. <laughs> You're on turn two, is like... <laughs> uh, uh... <laughs> so the one advantage, though, is that I can, again, just get rid of that... Uh, Centipede now. I probably could have gotten rid of him that turn, but he wasn't a threat that turn. He's a threat now. <laughs> yeah. And actually, the Scarab on F2 and the Firefly on F3, again, they're not a threat, so I just need to focus on the lower half there with that guy, that guy, and... One rock on C3 solves it. Yeah, that it does. It leaves the centipede alive again, but... Yeah, and you'd have a hard time getting rid of uh, C6. Yeah, C6, you'd probably have to use the guy on H5 to hit him. Yeah, the problem is you might knock Mafon into B8. It, uh, yeah, I would have to get the order right there. Uh, that's not the right play, R30. Why are you thinking of... <laughs> that's not... No, why? <laughs> why did you do that? No, you idiot. Well... No, no, that, that, that's wrong. You should have... No. No. <laughs> F7 should definitely have done something else there. Because <laughs> not only was the order wrong, but it's not going to do enough to kill him. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, on the brights, well, it was the last turn, so I did need to block a Vex spawn as well. 
Yeah, we're just gonna put that entire building on ice and so nobody will know about it. That's how that works, right? There was pro there's bound to be a better play to do that. Uh, <laughs> why? Yeah, if your final mech did something else rather than go for a harmless beetle, then yeah. Let's go. What's more is I don't even kill the scarab on this turn, I just move him over. I could have killed him. I mean, at this point, it has to be personal, though. That guy needed to die. <laughs> I guess, but... Try explaining that to future me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> like I Even said, the there's... Rock a... on the Rock on D2 is crying. Aww. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you had... We knew this was going to happen, that I was going to be yelling at my own misplace. <laughs> And we're not yep. even at the worst. We're not even at the worst one yet. It gets worse. Oh, don't tell me you're going frozen planes on. <laughs> no, I'm going for the. I mean, like at the end of the game, it gets much worse. <laughs> <laughs> we learned something, but we it, it's no. <laughs> you learned what not to do. Uh, and again, block three vex spawns. I seem to be attracted to this. Oh one. yeah, that's the thing. All right, there's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four. Ta -da. <laughs> Time to block some spawns. <laughs> and kill the and kill the. the uh... ah, well, that's a oh, that's yeah, a yeah, novel way to kill. To a, that's a novel way to kill a time pod. Yep, just shove a vec onto it. <laughs> not not even a sound bite for it. Just crunch. I don't even. I don't even think my mech. I think one mech moved out of all three of them. So in this case, one thing I, I've noticed that's weird about the uh, uh, spawning or the attacks with the mech vec is that they always end up attacking. You know, it's almost like they treat iced targets with a higher priority for some reason. Which is Could be, yeah. Which is kind of weird because you expect them to I guess they half know that hey, if I freeze if I free this thing, then it does it's worse because there's more Vec on the board, but at the same time sometimes they attack frozen building or like frozen mechs. Or just frozen anything. It's they don't really seem to know, hey, this is not something I should be attacking. And Mafon just froze himself, kind of? Not really? Walked right on top of the nice ice mine there with... <laughs> so that's blocked by the shield as well. Huh? Exactly. That's... Meanwhile, it's like this... this uh... <laughs> that centipede's the only thing that really sp sp spawned. Everything else got blocked. Convenient. I mean, everything froze themselves first turn, which helps a ton. <laughs> yeah. And headquarters. Be the leader. Who... I guess his attack just sort of melts everything it goes over? I'm trying to remember what happens with the, uh, the fire mechanic of his. The yeah, ice shouldn't melt. Should. Though I'm not seeing the... I don't think it does, actually, because if you look at C4, there's not the uh, the gray stripe pattern that indicates, hey, it's catching fire. Well, actually, that's because he lands on that tile, isn't it? Yeah. I would test it with the uh, map editor, but uh, that's currently bugged in this version of the game. Hmm. Well, at least on the bright side, I get to let the beetle do my work for me. Killing a, a scion there. I've never. Oh, get to see here. What happens to the ice? Yeah. Kind of... Depending on. Ah, there was a good one. Double kill. 
Okay, so it looks like it does... Looks like the tile that he is on does have the fire... Ah, uh, you're gonna block his attack. Ah, uh, yeah. I, it looks like I just pile on top of him since nothing else is spawning. That's one advantage of killing the other two back at the same time. I don't think he's gonna have a chance to attack, is he? Nope. I guess this will have to wait for another island we test in the future, then. Yes, because we so love coming to Pinnacle. <laughs> I mean, this is actually a... That was a pretty decent fight against the Beetle, though. You have to admit it. That, that wasn't too yeah. bad. A lot more exciting just flying towards them, blowing yourself up. Okay, just block the block the attacks on this turn, or maybe. Well, okay, the firefly's gonna die. I'm gonna make sure of Won't that. Will the rock explode? Yeah. The rock would catch fire before the the attacks, which isn't a problem since I moved the rock, but... Just put another one. <laughs> <laughs> I th yeah, I think I read that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we realized it, and then I finally realized it and thought, oh. I mean, you could have just put D1 on E1. No. <laughs> uh, Cause I even thought, oh, I could put a boulder on D4. Wait, no, that would actually work, because it doesn't break the ice. Because I remember that from the nonsense that was uh, Blitzkrieg. Yeah, uh, your first run-in with the, uh, the Cracked Mountains. No, it was a... It was a <laughs> yeah, the ice. ice. But... Ugh. The ice is even worse than that mountain, because you have to put your mech in a place where you can't attack. Yeah. Another reason to And a flying one mountain. can't get it. Which is even worse. Wait, the flying ones can't? I the flying the... mech can't pick up the uh, beacon if it's underwater. That sounds like a bug. That should not be the case. Huh. I think. No, wait, it does. Yeah, it does. Styles ones. I once did it. Okay. But it did make a sound, which is normal because it was with the secret squad. The, the secret squad. Oh, yeah, that episode. I did see that recently. Okay. So it looks like I just grab some reactor cores and a grid power on this one. I don't know how much grid power I grab, but... I might be considering grabbing the burst beam just to sell on the next island. you have to beat the game without powering anything, or just X amount of islands? Three islands. So once you get past the third island, you're free to go straight to the, the final island. Uh. And it ended. So no <laughs> no closing there. <laughs> yeah, just take a screenshot of the final frame and it'll show then. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's uh, for the final mission. You just have to finish. Whoops! You just have to finish three islands, and then after that point, uh, you're free to put more in. You're I think I had to keep on going because I was doing something else that did require me to beat the game.